tribe, how you doing? It's me, Nikki, and a bedroom guru. As you can see, you may have noticed that I'm still in the same attire as I was in the last two videos. <laughs> this is what I say to you when you've got a day where you're just poof, knackered, um, then find things that mentally stimulate you. And one of those things is obviously doing things for you. So I thought that I would give you a quick check in with energy oracle cards. Ta -da! Really pretty actually, really nice set of cards. Um, so I'm gonna do three cards, um, one, two and three. I'm gonna pull three cards and then work on my intuition around the three that I'm seeing to see what is helping you currently and what is hindering you and what you need to work upon. So let's have a little look. This is now for number ones. Number ones, can I please have a checking for number ones? Help and hindering, please. Let's see what we have for you, number ones. No. Number ones. And you can just sit here and watch me <laughs> shuffle the cards. Number ones, please. Thank you, too. Thank you. Okay. We have adjacent possibilities. Daughter romance. Mm. Here of all ages. Now, intuitively, on these three cards, I feel that it's really weird because adjacent possibilities equal six, and so does the daughter romance. So this is talking to people that have either been in a relationship and are single and are still smarting from it, or they're looking for a new relationship. Now, adjacent um, possibilities is thinking out the box. It's realizing that there are other opportunities there for you emotionally okay so what i really intuitively i feel like you may be feeling that you are not ever going to find the right relationship or you are never going to get the right one that you're always making the wrong decision um and this is telling you there are other ways of going about this perhaps um enjoying more social outlets joining places classes clubs different hobbies pursuits and all that kind of thing um, it's saying that even though you may be reading from a relationship from before, there are still possibilities out there if you just open the doors to them. OK, so think about ways on how you can get yourself out there. Think about ways on how to improve your energy, how to get rid of what is in the past. The reason I say this is because overwhelming these two cards is the healer of all ages. This is receiving divine healing. So you are at the moment either licking your wounds or feeling that you may um, enter into another relationship or fear that you may open yourself to another relationship um, compared to the last one or the last few lots of us and you'll know if you've read my book that we we tend to um attract what energy we are in at the time okay and so if you're thinking why do i keep getting the wrong person it needs that you need to work more on your self-love by working on your self-love and raising your bar you attract higher quality people around you both in friendships and romance so you are being healed and are also being asked to help heal yourself. Positive affirmations, self-belief, self-love. OK, mirror work. I am worthy. I am attractive. I'm clever. I'm confident. I have the courage to go into a new relationship. I know that I will not meet anybody like I have before. I know that I've got warning signs that if I see them, I will walk away. La di la di la di la. OK. So the door to romance is here for you. Notice that obviously the heart's in the middle of it, but I also feel that that represents the heart chakra for number ones. So this means if there is any healing that's needed to be done, anything from the past that no longer serves you from a, a damaging or toxic relationship, get rid of that out of your system first of all. My uh, meditation, Michael, cutting ties um, 
or cutting cords from things that tie you to the past is a very very good way of getting rid of anything that holds you to a past abusive toxic rubbish relationship okay so it's encouraging you number ones to start getting yourself out there start getting the confidence and the courage to go dating and start meeting people and seeing how you go from there you're being healed you are ready to get out there make sure that you're in the right energy when you do very quick one but very effective good luck number ones <laughs> good luck number ones very fast and quick these ones checking for number twos what can we be doing for you number twos let's have a little looky Checking for number two. Sounds like I'm on a queue, isn't it? All number three. <laughs> Till number four. Number twos, please, darlings. I like that one. Mm. And it's come up reversed, upside down. Mmm, feeling very, 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 very illusioned at the moment lost your motivation and your passion number two so see what else comes up number twos please check in for energy checking what can help what can hinder that one please <gasps> oh dear it's another Duda one. Oh dear. Ooh, blimey. I, how is it, right? Every time I start to, and you might find this if you've got your own cards, every time you start to shuffle, right, before I start the shuffling, I look through and make sure everything is up the right way. How the hell do they turn upside down? That's what I want to know. That sound on my blinds blowing in the wind. The cold wind that should belong to September and not July. Just saying. Woman holding the heart upside down. Mm -mm -mm. Broken heart. Thank goodness. Upside down. Envy. This is your check-in and your wake-up call, number twos. This is all about you feeling very disillusioned okay you may be recovering from heartbreak but this also could be um from a loss grieving anything that's kind of turned your world upside down okay so you're feeling disillusioned at the moment you've lost your passion your motivation your drive you can use carnelian that was my last video wasn't it use carnelian um so this is all about you just not feeling it at the moment no matter what situation you're in I feel like you are giving up. You could be poorly, you could be struggling at the moment, you could be having financial issues that you're worried about. Anything at all that's to do with loss, as I say, it can be a love um, connection, but it's anything to do with um, perhaps if you've lost someone or there's some sort of loss or something you've had to struggle with on your life path at the moment. Your heart's not in it anymore. You've just lost the will to carry on doing it. You just thought, I've had enough, this is pants. What's the bloody point? And the thing is with envy is, is that with this energy, you may be, do you know what? The biggest, I call it facey book, right? It's a load of old pants, really, Facebook, isn't it? Let's face it. Everybody makes sure their hair's done and they've got their filters on and they're all laughing, ha, ha, ha. And they're all doing all their perfect things in life. And, you know, we're doing this, we're doing that. And everybody, like, puts their whole life on there, don't they? And it's so fake half of it because, you know, it's all that, oh, Look, let's be all happy for the camera. That's why I call it facey book. It's a load of old shit in it, really. <laughs> and the thing is, is that facey book can also make us 
compare our lives to other people's who are smiling and doing their filters, you know, because you think, well, I haven't got that. I'm feeling really shit about my situation. Why can't I have that? Why can't I have that partner? Why can't I have that house? Why can't I have that job? Why can't I have that car? Why can't I have the vitality? La, 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 la. So your advice at the moment is to get out of this crap situation you find yourself in emotionally and spiritually. You are, yes, you're recovering from loss because this is upside down. So it's acknowledging that, yes, you have had an upset, but don't stay stuck in that energy. Stop looking at everybody else's lives and focus on yours and you. OK, this is a wake up call for you to stop allowing self-pity to be your best friend at the moment. This is a wake up call for you to start being grateful for every little thing that you have in your life at the moment. Now, if you've got anything bad going on, and trust me, I've had the most unluckiest month ever in the whole world, amen, this July. It's been totally shit, I'm not going to lie, right? And so basically, I can sit in there and go, for Christ's sake, it's been one thing after another. And I've done it, don't get me wrong. I have, like, you know, spilled out to friends, gone, I just don't believe this. I've just literally had one bit of bad energy after another. Hence why I'm wearing this little puppy at the moment, Labradite, because I'm done. I'm not having any more of it. It's as simple as that. So you can get into an energy at the moment my back is in agonizing pain my old back injury my old back injury is just back like a bitch and so I could sit here and go I'm in pain I can't do anything I'm sitting here my dog's ill I've had this happen I've had that happen and blah 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 where does that get me in the universe where does that get me so when the universe looks at our energy and says we're not doing this we're not doing that I've had enough I feel crap my back's hurting I'm in pain I'm not going to get anywhere with this. Look at everybody else. It's all right for them. They're great. They're wonderful. They've got a family. They're going on holiday. They've got this. They've got that. It's listening. All it can hear is yardy, yardy, yardy. Crap, 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 crap. La, 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 la. She goes, you know what? I'll leave you to it then. Because you obviously want to sit in your own bubble of misery, self-pity and martyrdom. Do you see what I'm saying? However, if you then say, and don't get me wrong, it took me a couple of weeks to think, you know what? You need to turn this around it because it's not going to work, Right. So then you think, right, what can I do? I'm going to change my mindset. Yes, I am in pain, but I'm I'm telling my body that I don't need it anymore and I don't want it. Yes, it's been a bad time. What have I learned from this? I've learned this, so don't do that again, okay? So in future, I am now stronger. Thank you for this lesson. I have wisdom for these situations that have happened. I feel so much better. I'm so grateful because I have a roof over my head. I've got beautiful friends. I've got lovely people around me. I'm very lucky that I've got a beautiful home and that I live in a beautiful area. I'm very lucky that I haven't got anything worse than just back pain and exhaustion. I'm very lucky. Thank you, universe. Please bring more luck to me and gratitude. Can you see the difference? So you're giving out this energy of, yeah, it's crap, but I would, I'm would i really grateful and I'd really like some of that gratitude to come back on me now and positive energy. That's what you need to do. This is a wake up call for, yes, it was crap. Yes, it was bad. But now is the time to get over it already and move on. Okay. And stop comparing yourself to other people's. Do you really know what's really going on in their life? Do you? You know, some of some of the people I know, you see all the stuff on Facebook, go, wow, that's good. They go, no, well, this has happened, that's happened. And I don't know, sometimes I wonder what Facebook is about because it's, it's like a pretense of trying to show that you've got the best life ever. Do you know what I mean? So let's lose this comparison to other people. Come on. Kick yourself out of it. Get yourself motivated. Find something that make you happy. Start investing and doing things that make you feel positive, even if it's just doing a jigsaw puzzle, whatever it is. Keep your mind on constructive things. Keep your affirmations positive. Keep your mindset. This is done. Now I need to move on. What's the next best thing that's going to happen to me because I deserve it? Wake up call number two. Is get out of the self-pity zone. Right? <laughs> that's me and my soapbox about Facebook. It's true though, isn't it? It's not it's not real. It's just all bloody fakey smiles and oh hang on a minute, just let me do my hair, let me do my hair. Yeah, oh, oh no, I have to do a filter on that. Oh no, you can't do that one, I look too fat in it. It's not real at all. So I think I'm really hammering this home to a couple of people. I think you've looked to think, why is it my life like that? It's not, it's not like anything, it's just pictures. Alright. Think about the good things. And as I've always said in all of my videos, positivity videos, right? At the end of the day, whew, at the end of the day, I've got 
was going to say then. <laughs> Positivity videos at the end of the day, it's all about your mindset. So start with three things you're grateful for to start your energy on a high before you do anything else. Okay. Right, number threes. Let's see what you've got. I feel like I'm telling you off. I feel like I'm being a headmistress today. These are quite good. Very to the point, these cards, energy oracle cards. Very powerful. They're in, done, done their message. Get on with it. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Ooh. And they hold dark and light, these cards, which I love as well. Tell me about this card, please. Tell me about it for number threes. Give me the rest of the story. Hmm. Bit of a change up in it. Doing different cards, different ways. Number threes, please. Number threes. Pop out, pop out, pop out. Thank you. Ooh. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yes. Got it. Self deceit. Ooh, lovely. Okay, so you have called number threes deceit. I mean, many things. Don't worry, there's nobody being deceitful around you because you have the thinking woman. And then you have. The seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, which is the crown chakra, the connection to the divine. And you'll know this because of my chakra video. Yeah. God, those blinking blinds are so loud. Okay, with the deceit card, intuitively, when I have it next to the thinking woman, it means something completely different. Now, the thinking woman is encouraging you to go and learn something new. Obviously, from the picture, you can see that this is obviously saying about how many times I'm going to say, obviously, Jesus. This is about you growing by learning something new or studying. Sometimes it can only mean studying, as in going to a new class, learning something new, getting more um, tools on your belt for a certain work, career or creative idea. Um, but it can also mean even just taking on a hobby or stimulating your mind or learning something that's going to help you in your life. Also, see the butterfly here. So this is asking for you to think of ways to transform your life, transform your energy. So this is about working towards something that you feel is going to better your life. Now, the deceit card, I'm seeing like a water sign, like moon, like the, the major arcana of the moon. The deceit here is you're deceiving yourself in thinking that you are not worthy enough to do certain things that you want to aspire to. So this card, I feel, because we've got it next to the thinking woman, is you are deceiving yourself. You are lowering your expectations of yourself and you're saying, no, I can't possibly do that. So let's just say, for instance, you're in a business environment and you're thinking of perhaps um, getting a loan to expand the business perhaps extend out the back or get more partners in and you're thinking no I can't do this I don't think it's going to work I'm not going to be able to do it I haven't got enough control blah blah blah, blah. rubbish okay this is this card is basically encouraging you to transform yourself through self-development and learning whatever that case may be hang on in there if there are things that are like stopping um, that are staying stuck or are frustratingly going slow for you. Be patient. That's the most important thing. But also, if things aren't flowing right in a work environment or if you're learning something new or you're, you know, trying to get forward a, a manifest a creative idea, step back from it. Have a bit of a hangman space here. Step back from it and see what possibly could be wrong. See if there's anything that needs tweaking. See if there's anything you've missed with your passion to want to take this forward, OK? Because that's where I feel you need to do now. If there is nothing wrong and it just is down to patience, be patient. This is all about you improving yourself. It doesn't have to be a woman either. OK, study, learn your trade, learn how to market yourself, learn how to take your creative idea to the next step, learn how to change your hobby into something you can make money from. It's all about advancing yourself and not deceiving yourself into thinking that you can't do it. You bloody can. OK, 
Now this is interesting because again, if you look at two and five is seven, we've then got that next to seven here and then the four is next to the four. So this is just a continual story and the numbers are corroborating each other and going um, and reflecting each other as well. So with this card, the seventh chakra, this is all about balance. Four and one is five for balance, okay? That's a row thing, isn't it? Anyway, anywho, um, this basically is saying use your intuition. There are so many times on this earth path where we want to change something or aspire towards something or achieve some sort of personal, professional goal in our lives um, and we kind of let our heart rule over it or we let our head rule over it and we don't actually feel the situation. How many times have you gone for something or you're doing something, you're in the midst of it but your gut's saying this is so not right, what are you doing, just don't feel right but your ego or your thought process or your heart is saying no no but you really need to do this, you really need to do this and then when it all goes wrong or it goes tits up you're like I bloody knew it. I knew it didn't feel right. Okay? And that's where this comes in. So when you are stepping back and looking at how to progress something, that either you're in the planning stage and you need to know how to implement it, or it's stuck or it's not going as fast as it should, sit back, draw away from yourself, come away, take some time out from the situation and really feel the essence of what you're going towards and feel if it feels right or not if we worked on our intuition on everything relationships love family work everything everything if we worked on our intuition we would blinking fly we would never have a problem because our intuition is our inner voice it's our soul voice telling us which way to go it is our ego, fear, doubt, pride, whatever it is, that gets in the way that stops us from going with our true gut. Our heart, oh no, I can't do that to him. Oh no, I can't let him go. But you, you can't afford to have him. So you're going to eat baked beans for a week because you're too scared or your heart goes out to the person that you need to get rid of because the business needs to, you know, just have a little bit of a, you know, a bit of a break. Oh no, I can't do that. I'm definitely not going to do that. I'm too stubborn to do that. It's your head, heart, all the time, get in the way of things. So to improve this movement, to bring through this beautiful, beautiful transformation, to allow yourself to fly and have your beauty go all around, fluttering around as is a butterfly, then you need to start working with your intuition. This also represents a high priestess card, water sign as well, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, so this could align to your um, zodiac sign or people that you're concerned about. Make decisions for yourself, believe in yourself, raise the bar and don't be deceitful to yourself in respect of telling yourself you can't do something or telling yourself you shouldn't do something because your head or your heart says. If your instinct says do something, do it. It will never ever steer you wrong. It is our sole compass. But for some godforsaken reason, we let our mind overthink it. We let our heart pour over and not listen to that quiet little mouse voice is telling us don't do it or do do it. So this is your time to sit back, have a think, take yourself off to the park, take yourself off to the beach and have a real good think and feel your way through any situation that is involving you bettering your life for whatever reason. Do not deceive yourself and think that you are unable to deal with this situation. You can. And there you go, number threes. They are your card readings for today on a check-in with the Energy Oracle cards. I'll speak to you again very soon. Do good things. Love you all.